Hello and welcome to Health Matters on Channels Television. Thank you for staying with us. I am Mary Alale Yusuf. When cells in any part of the body start to grow out of control, it signals the beginning of cancer. According to the World Health Organization, there were approximately 14.1 million new cancer cases around the world in 2012. This number is expected to increase by 70% in the next 20 years. In the studio to discuss cancer prevention with me is a consultant, radiation, and clinical oncologist with the Lagos University Teaching Hospital and a lecturer in the College of Medicine, Idiaraba. She's a member of the Association of Radiation and Clinical Oncologists of Nigeria, ARCAN, as well as the Association of Radiologists in Nigeria. Joining us also in the studio is the mother of a cancer survivor and the founder of Davian Children Cancer Foundation, Matilda Obiajunwa. You. You're welcome to the show, Dr. Shulmi. Thank you. You're welcome Thank to you the so show, much. Uh, Thank Matilda. You. Now, um, it has been said, you know, by the World Foundation that genetics combines with um, external agents, which are physical, chemical, and biological, to you know, biological carcinogens to cause cancer. Can you tell us a bit about that? Okay, basically, like um, a lot of people will ask, what exactly is the cause of cancer? And um, like we always say, only God knows, but they're what we call risk factors for each cancer. There are different types of risk factors for different cancers. And these risk factors have to do with um, what has been found in cancer patients and um, for different cancers we have different risk factors if we take breast for example we can say it's genetic and um, also if we take um, maybe like a colon cancer most cancers actually are genetic but also we are looking at um, what we call our environmental pollution, okay. toxins, right, around which, of course, some people, depending on where they work and um, the chemicals that are involved, if they get it absorbed in their system over a period of time, it might not be immediate, but it might be 20, 15 years down the lane. Like the famous asbestos? We yes, so much you know, about, about it, and um, they come down with cancer later on, and that's why it's important when they're working there, they should do like a yearly check to ensure over a period of time that they're still, you know, health-wise, they are fit. And then if we look at the cervical cancer, we know that some of the risk factors is um, having um, sexual intercourse at an early age, multiple sexual partners, when you have a lot of children, multiparity, and then, you know, so with that, that's why now people are going to schools to advise the students because of the moral decadence nowadays that um, they should, you know, stay away, abstain from sex until they are old enough because in cervical cancer, so to speak, if they start at an early age and they get infected with the human papilloma virus that has been implicated, which is one of the risk factors of, and um, you find out that they probably will not come down with cancer until about 15. So infection here is also a, a risk. Yes, infection is a risk as well. We have sexually transmitted, you know, diseases as a risk. We have infection of different types. For that of the colon cancer, we have the H, you know, pylori um, bacteria that it's been affected. That's implicated. the one that causes ulcers? Yeah, not the one that causes, but that's for stomach, you know, cancer, right? But, you know, at times... The way it presents is that some at times feel that they have ulcer, but after being treated repeatedly and over a period of time, because they might discover they're not getting better, that they might actually have a stomach, you know, ulcer. And then we have um, <clears throat> prostate cancer. For prostate cancer, of course, it's age that is implicated okay. because it's common in the elderly. In the past, it used to be like about once you're 70 years and above, but now we are finding out that we are seeing a lot of people, a younger age group, like about um, less than 50, 
before they used coming to say down with coming down with cancer. prostate cancer. So the advice is that um, when you're 50 years old, you should go for you know screening for prostate cancer, and um, that is the PSA, which is a prostate specific antigen, which is common. And when you say genetic, mm. do you mean hereditary? Yes, it runs in the gene in the family. It's hereditary. We have um, breast cancer is one of it. A lot of the cancers are implicated, though the degree varies. We have um, uh, this thing, breast cancer, where we have the gene that they call BRCA1 and then BRCA2, right? And that's why, you know, like we said, Jolene had to go and do, you know, mass.